Hey YouTube, I'm waiting for the riding mower outside to go by. <laughs> I'm in my room and I got my hat on and I'm in front of the window with the blinds open and I have the ring light on because I'm I am in full troll mode and so I'm just trying to like camouflage a little bit. <laughs> I wanted to do this video because I'm a little disturbed by something. After I uploaded um, the video I did on the Sephora Clean Collection items that they sent me, well actually just the unboxing video, after that I received an email from a company asking me to review one of their products, but the process was go on Amazon and they put the link and they said, you know, pick which item you want. Put it in your Amazon cart, and after you pay for it, send us proof of purchase, and we'll refund you the money. And I was like, what? Look how my double bag popped out, my matching luggage. So anyway, <laughs> I was like, um, no, like that's not how this is done. I didn't think that's how it was done. I'm not an influencer. My channel is extremely small. And even when Sephora had emailed me asking if I would review their products, and if I wanted to, they would send them to me and to let them know. So it wasn't even like an automatic thing. And so I emailed back saying, sure, that'd be great. And then I received another email saying, okay, blah, blah, blah. We're going to send you the products. And I'm like, okay. And I really didn't even think anything of it because that never happens to me. <laughs> and then a couple weeks later, I received the email saying, we've shipped out your package. And I'm like, oh, they were for real. And then I got the package and, you know, I did the video, the unboxing video. And then over time, I uploaded the review videos. And so in my mind, I'm just like, that's not how that's supposed to work. And me watching YouTube and seeing the influencers and you know they just receive pr or they're on pr lists and even though that's not me because my channel is super small and i don't consider myself an influencer my understanding is if someone wants you to review a product they ask you if you would like to receive it you say yes or no and then they send it to you for free <laughs> and then you try it and you do a review and so i emailed back saying i'm really uncomfortable with having to purchase a product and then be reimbursed after the fact to do the review I said my understanding is this eye has been tearing for like a week I think it's because the seasons are changing um, I said my understanding is is if there's a product that the company wants reviewed they will ask you if you would like to receive it for free and then you review the product and so no I do not want to purchase your product to be reimbursed <laughs> To do a video if you want me to review it just send it to me and i was more tactful than that and so then they emailed back saying well all of our stock is at amazon and they don't allow us to send out gifts everything has to be purchased by the customer and so i wrote them back saying that is absolutely fine however as i said i am not comfortable purchasing a product to be reimbursed for it to do a review if you would like for me to review your product is up to your team to figure out how to get your product to people for free for them to review it. And then they emailed me back. There goes that ride and mower again. I love where I live because they do keep up the property. Like rent is high, but you can see and hear like where your money's going. Anyway, sorry about the noise if you guys do hear that. So then she, she or he, the person emailed me back saying, well, what if we PayPal you the money up front? And I was just like, I was like, no, to me that seems unethical because it then, then it seems like you're paying me to do a review. So no, I don't want to do that. And so I let that go. And I do have, I still have the emails and I think they're just like in the saved folder just to remind me that there's some thing go, things going on out here with products that I just, I just don't understand. And also, so I know that I'm just not having a moment and making stuff up <laughs> because I do have the, the proof or the receipts as they say. And so I'm bringing this up today because I received another email today. Now this happened like two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago. I got another email today saying, hi, I'm just circling back around to see if you would be willing to review one of our products. And here's the process. And it was a similar process as the other one. And so I'm like, 
is this the same company? Well, different company name, but the same group of people. And it was the same thing. Like all of our stock is at Amazon. And so we cannot just send out free product. But if you purchase the product, the difference in this one was if you put the product in your Amazon cart and you take a screenshot that is in your cart, send them the screenshot, then they'll send you the money and you, you can go ahead and make the purchase. And I'm still just like, that does not sound right. They put the link to the product on Amazon. They put their Instagram link and they listed other products that they have that you can choose to review if you didn't want to review the one that they were asking you to. And I'm, I, so I emailed back saying, please remove me from your email list. <laughs> and I just left that there. Then I went on YouTube and I put in the name of the product. There are reviews on YouTube for that product. And so now I'm wondering like, are all those reviews from people who paid for it and were reimbursed for it? Or they were sent money up front to purchase the product? That to me just seems really unethical. And of course they were like, oh, we have really good reviews. And then I'm thinking, well, maybe that's why if you're paying people to purchase your product. So let me know what you guys think of this. And like I said, I'm not an influencer. I'm not a big YouTuber. My subscriber list just went from 65 down to 62. Like I am just so friggin' tiny. <laughs> I'm like, why are they coming after me? Just because of the Sephora unboxing video? And only have now 62 subscribers. It's like, who? okay, even if all 62 watch the videos, what's the percentage of them that's going to actually buy whatever their product is? You know what I mean? And so it's not, I don't think it's that big of a deal. If I had like hundreds of thousands of subscribers or something, it'd be different. But then bigger companies and more well-known companies <laughs> would have me on their PR list. So it's just... It's just crazy to me that this is happening. And so hopefully they will remove me from the list. And what I find ironic is there was no unsubscribe link at the bottom of the email. And so I think it's just a group of people who just make up these different companies to sell different products and then just send out emails to different people. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Like, have you had this experience or similar experiences where people were saying buy this and we'll reimburse you if you do a review or we'll send you the money up front to do the review just send the product that's all i'm saying so let me know what you think below yeah i'm gonna just end that here <laughs> thanks